I'm feeling good, man. So um, I just did three estimates. Just perfect situation. So I had a friend, not a friend, but a uh, a customer call me for an estimate, and then she told her two friends about me. They called for an estimate. So I did all the friends estimates same day. Knocked it out the park. You know they love me because I'm a very charismatic player, dog. And um, uh, we talked, shot the shit. So this last estimate I did, the guy wanted a house wash or a window cleaning, and said he just got the house power washed about a week ago. And I'm looking around the house and I'm like, dude, this house barely is power washed. There's green, there's green stuff all on the siding, and I'm like, are you, are you sure he power washed it? Oh yeah, 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 he power washed. So I'm gonna give him an estimate for a power wash and you know he's probably gonna pay me for to do the house wash too. And this cause this is just I'm gonna blow it out the park and then he's gonna tell what you see what I'm talking about, man? We are doing high-end work over here. Solid work, mind-blowing work, and nobody around me knows how to wash homes properly. People are just power washing shit. Just just per pressure washing, just 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 going crazy with it and, and then it's not how you do it they said they got the, the roof power washed and I'm still seeing black streaks and bullshit and I'm like come on man so I'm gonna take care of these people we're gonna get it right I'm gonna get I'm getting set up for roof cleaning dude because I'm getting more and more people ask about roof cleaning and nobody's roof cleaning properly and dude I man I don't know about you guys but in my area, it seems like nobody knows how to actually do power washing, how to actually soft wash and use chemicals. And I didn't know any of this shit, you know, until like a year ago when I was just brutally studying this stuff and, and, and experimenting and, and, and figuring it all out. And I'm so glad I figured it out, but um, yeah, you guys can do this too. So, be thankful man this is just a great time to be alive dude if you can't make a business succeed in 2018 you were never gonna have a chance in being a business owner okay that's that's what the point I wanted to bring up this is a prime time to start a business and make it happen dude we're and you're on the internet and you're YouTubing so I know you knew you know how to use the internet so the internet is a beautiful tool and it's it's unbelievably powerful and and the information is almost overwhelming how much information you can get online. I mean, you could literally learn how to do anything. So you don't even need college. You don't need, dude, it's, it's amazing. So you got this guys. Don't doubt yourself. Get out there, kill it. Make this money, provide for your family. Envision yourself on a huge, a huge house with a ton of property and a big shop. You know, say, you know, maybe you run the business out of your home or something. Well, never mind. Say you got, so just imagine yourself with a big house, ton of land, big ass propane grill, fire pit, four wheelers, trampolines, all the kids and grandkids and nephews and nieces and uncles and Everyone's coming over and hanging out and the family's just happy and money is just not a problem. It doesn't have to be a problem. And it's gonna happen this way if you just stay passionate and, and keep grinding and don't give up, dude. You can do this, you can do this, you can do this, dude. There's people with million dollar companies who never even learned how to read or write, okay? But they're just crazy enough to actually risk leaving a nine to five and diving into business 100%. Yours truly, Mr. Lang. Talk to you later. I'm pulling up to estimate number four. Yo, yo, John Lang, Wally's Professional Services. Listen. Um, I got a question for you guys. So, if you tuned into my live video yesterday, I mentioned that we left the job, almost got out of there, and upon, right before we were leaving, a window opened, a breeze came through, and a window dropped and opened and broke. 
and the homeowner said this has happened in the past and it's not our fault and blah 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 but I can't help I can't stop thinking about it and uh, she doesn't want me to do anything about it and blah 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 um, I just emailed her and I said you know I said hey listen I can't stop thinking about that damn window and I didn't say damn but you know hey I can't stop thinking about that window um, you know please let me help make this you know, please let me know if there's anything I can do to make this right um, I would love to at least help with a portion of the cost you know let me know what it what it's gonna cost to get this replaced and I sent the email so my question to you guys is how would you handle this situation would you you know the window breaks and then the customer says don't worry about it would you just be like alright sweet and run out of there or would it eat at you and would you like feel obligated to help, at least help with the cost let me know how you would react to this in the comments thanks that was all